What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Hulu's new miniseries, Candy. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Hulu for granting me the screeners to this entire new miniseries. Now, even though this show is based on a true story, the show does have its own brand of surprises. Therefore, this review is spoiler free I repeat there are no spoilers in this video review so after the dropout and then the girl from Plainville and now this candy one can wonder why on earth is Hulu so interested in chronicling stories about problematic women I don't know the answer to that but having seen all five episodes of candy I gotta say a true crime documentary would have been a more riveting format than this because for a show that depicts a brutal murder and the events surrounding or building up to it, Candy is mostly mellow and uneven. It is a slow burn assumption that Candy's motivation for her alleged crime are sexual frustrations and horny urges. Now keep in mind, this is not gonna be the only miniseries about Candy Montgomery, because later this year, HBO Max is bringing you Love and Death, starring Elizabeth Olsen in that same role. So we'll have to see what that other one will bring differently. But I can tell you this, despite me not favoring some of the storytelling style of Candy, Jessica Biel's performance is outstanding. It's a hypnotic mix of the anxiety from keeping a dark secret and putting putting on a face with the yearning to leave a suffocating life and just give in to carnal desires and Jessica fires on all cylinders. Written and executive produced by Robin Vaith and Nick Antosca, Candy is about Candy Montgomery, a 1980 housewife and mother who did everything right. Good husband, two kids, nice house, even the careful planning and execution of transgressions. But when the pressure of conformity builds within her, her action is screaming for just a bit of freedom, with deadly results. Starring Jessica Biel, Timothy Simons, Melanie Linsky, and Pablo Schreiber. This miniseries only has a total of 5 episodes. Now, could it have been more? My answer to that is I think 5 are sufficient, because I'm not sure what else could be fleshed out. And let's face it, the affairs, the jealousy, the betrayal, all that juicy stuff that lead to the murder are pretty clear cut, but just because there are only 5 episodes, it doesn't mean that the pacing moves swiftly. As I implied earlier, this is a show that requires your patience. Episode 1 is significantly more intense than the rest. The subsequent episodes after that kinda pull back the curtain to let you in on the relationships of Candy and Pat on one hand and Betty and Alan on the other hand, and how these couples interact with each other either at church function or social gatherings. What the writers constantly emphasize are the details of these unhappy marriages. I kid you not, if going in you already had a pretty low opinion on marriages and you think that marriages are soul sucking, then trust me, what you'll see on Candy will only reinforce your belief. The show goes out of its way to make both ladies seem like they are the victims of their circumstances. And to a certain extent, this show is also a condemnation of conservative plastic suburbia and unattentive husbands. Speaking of whom, Pablo Schreiber and Timothy Simons are terrific, very antithetical to the characters that they usually embody in other gigs. As Candy and Betty's respective husbands, Pablo and Tim mold themselves into regular working class men who are either oblivious to their wives' needs or they're too chicken shit to have an honest communication about it. And if Melanie Linsky is not considered for Emmy for Best Supporting Actress, then it's their loss. Because Melanie plays her role to perfection. It's the best portrayal I've seen this year of somebody who's stuck and then steadily lashes out. Episodes 4 and 5 are when the story kicks into investigation and courtroom drama. By this point, the focus is getting more and more sharpened on Candy and Betty, and less and less on everybody else. But I gotta say, these final episodes kinda bug me a little, in that there are moments when the writers try too hard on their attempt at dark humor, which goes to my point earlier about it being uneven. I mean, throughout the show, there's little humor every now and then, here and there, especially with the way that Candy wants her sexcapades to run smoothly, but the final two episodes in particular are just pushing it a bit harder than necessary. Overall, if Candy goes to show anything, is that the the pressure to have that perfect picket fence life will only compel us to embrace our weaknesses. And wow, Jessica Biel has definitely left a mark on Candy. 